Hello people and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. And in the last episode we've been going through this cave and right now we should be getting to a boss fight. Death to the enemies of Fiendkind. And here he is. Such a charming creature, isn't he? Hecran. Hecron. I think maybe lightning will do something against this guy. I'm not 100% sure on that, but... Yep. Yeah, he's, he's kind of spazzing out, as you can see. Like, oh my god, he used lightning on me! Oh my god! <laughs> oh god, I'm so stupid. Anyways, uh, look at him, he's like... He seems happy, he's dancing, bobbing left and right. Bam, 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 look at me doing my dance. And he's like attacking like mad, holy shit. Allure, uh, we don't want to do that. And fire and ice. Who doesn't like fire and ice? It's like silver and gold, except it hurts. Oh my god, that does hurt. Go ahead, try and attack, see what it gets you. Okay, I'm not gonna do it, sir. Alright, you're just waiting. Uh, disengaged. Oh, disengaged. Really? But you know what? This is kind of similar to the Lavos fight we saw in the two episodes ago. We fought this form of Lavos, so it's not really that different. You just have to watch out for his counterattacks. And, you know, you just have to bear with this stupid, like, little jig that he's got going on here. It's like, left in. Oh my god! Heal freaking Luca. Holy shit. I am sorry, Luca. I did not realize you were getting, like, beaten up so badly. Just kind of abused. Used and abused. That's a nasty attack. Wow. Oh my god. Wow, okay. Um, we could really use Aura Roll. Too bad we used... Alright, um... Mid potion, please. Please don't kill him. Oh, okay, he's doing his stupid little thing. Well, while he's doing that, I guess let's heal up a little bit. I mean, this idiot's not going to do anything. He's just like... I don't know, he looks kind of stupid. He's, he reminds me of like a... Oh god, what's the name of that dinosaur? Uh, I forget, but... A stegosaurus or something? I don't know. Spikes on its back. Kind of reminds me of that. Of course, now I'm just saying a bunch of, like, gibberish just to get myself through the video, of course. And, yeah, this guy's very predictable. He's gonna kill Chrono. That's... fucking sucks. Um... And he had a lot of fun doing that, apparently. It's like, yeah! Fine, I won't attack you. Wait, Chrono, you heal up. Um, I'm going to save these two for Antipode. Or Antipod, whichever you want to call it. Okay, he disengaged his uh, stupid counterattack stance. And I think I'm feeling a little ballsy, so let's do lightning. It does like 100 damage, so why not? Oh, 98, that's... Oh, we beat him, so it's all as well. 10 tech points, 1500 gold, gain a level. Perfect, everybody levels up. It's, uh, good times. If only Lord Magus had destroyed the human race 400 years ago when he first brought forth Lavos. The road would belong to us fiends now. They don't, though, and you're dead. It's kind of a dramatic fashion to go, but I don't object. So, Magus created Lavos in the Middle Ages, and in the future, Lavos destroys the planet. If we, go, if we go to the Middle Ages and stop Magus, can we change history? If we use the gate at the fairgrounds, um, or if we could use the gate at the fairgrounds, I should say. Yeah, why not? Let's jump in. What's the worst that can happen? And there we go. We actually land back in Truce Village. And let's go to Luca's house, visit, uh... Oh, her father's not here. Is he still, like, 
wondering where everybody is. Hmm. How unusual. Well, let's say hi to uh, Luca's mother. Oh, there he is. I bought you this apple with what we are. Shh. Oh man, you must really not be making much if all you could afford was an apple. Tough times, I suppose. Oh, perfect timing. And that's what I was coming here for. Taban's vest. And, uh, you know, as you go throughout the game, if you stop by every now and then, her father might have a new, like, piece of equipment to give to you. And I more than happily take it off their hands. Alright, so now let's go back to the, um, festival. We really can't go back to Guardia Castle because... They'll pretty much want our heads on a platter. So let's see, let's save here. And I guess the name of the game really is to go back to the Middle Ages and stop Magus. Shouldn't be too hard, right? So, Lane's Bell, we go back here. Deja Vu. Except this time we have more control over this situation. And the cool little transition screen that I like so much. Oh. Alright, it leads you back to the to this area. Truce Canyon, that's where we would want to go, but I wanna see if um Do you have anything new to say? No, you really don't. Alright, MP and HP restored. Alright, so perfect. I guess is uh now is a good time to switch party members a little bit. Alright. And you get some of a uh, robot roll. Alright, there we go. So, I don't know, I like having Marl in my party as opposed to Luca. Just because of her uh, curative spells. And it kind of works in conjunction with Robo because Robo has a nice healing spell as well. And he also has good offensive power. So he's a nice backup healer. Alright, let's... I was going to say let's sneak by here, but that's obviously impossible. So let's kill the Empok and um, be done with here. Yeah, luckily my throat isn't like, or I'm, I mean I should say my voice isn't like given away yet. That's the funny thing about like making these videos is it's kind of like an endurance test for your voice. See how long you can record until like eventually. You really just can't speak anymore. Alright, so now... Let's see, Magus. I guess probably go to the castle and try and figure out what's going on around here since the last time we've been here. I mean, you know, last time we were... We saved the queen, we saved Marl, and all that good stuff. So hopefully this is... Paul, who goes here? Oh, it's you again. Yeah, it's just me again, you know. Punk with the weird hair. Huh, where's the king? Very pages of legend. He arrived not long ago, then left to meet the king. Where's the king? Well, I don't know, perhaps he's up here? It's a good start. Uh, wow, there's a lot of floors here. There's a lot of floors. Alright, so let's see, is, um, is he here by chance? Yeah, oh my god, he got hurt. Chrono, I've grown too old for all this. With Sir Cyrus nowhere to be found, all our hope rests on the shoulder of that boy who bears the hero's badge. He's gone to the southern continent now to search for the sword that can slay Magus. Alright, so he's gone in the southern continent. Alright. Yep, so what we have to do now is go south, and that means crossing the bridge, and that itself is quite an event, to say the least. And it used to give me trouble as a kid. Don't know why, but... I don't know, I always found myself having to level up a little bit before I tackled it. 
I don't know if it's because of the boss or something, but... Wow. Food supplies are being rationed on the front lines. There will be soon none left. Alright, so yeah, they're talking about pretty much the whole scene at the bridge. There's like a huge battle going, uh, going on there, but... I guess rations are short, and a lot of the soldiers are getting their ass kicked, so... I guess we should talk to the cook, see if uh, he can do something about this rationing stuff. Wow, he's he's moving like a fiend. Come on now, time is wasting. All right, he's not going to say anything. Yeah, so the Xenon bi uh, bridge we have to go to next, and we got about four minutes, so I think that should be enough time. I hope. Come on, it's a it's a race against time here. But yeah, we have to go to Zinnan Bridge, get like a status report from uh, the general there. He tells you about having a shortage of rations and, I don't know, morale is just horrible at the moment. So let's see what's going on. Alright, so our provisions are depleted. Had the supplies still not arrived from the castle, we'll starve at this rate. Alright. So pretty much, yeah, um... You can't cross the bridge, no matter how hard you try. You have to get those rations. You just gotta get those rations. And I think it's beef jerky that they give you. Ironic, strangely enough. I'm not gonna say ironically enough. Is that just when it makes sense? But yes, um, beef jerky is what we have to bring to them. I don't know why ber uh, beef jerky is like the food of choice in this game, but for every like for every request that has to do with food, it's always beef jerky. What? My brother's larders are nearly empty? Larders? Huh, <laughs> serves him right, thinking you men with swords are the only ones protecting this kingdom. Enough of that. Enough of that. Are you never going to set aside your petty feud? You're grown men. Act like it. Shit. Mind your own business. What do you know of anyways? Grumble, grumble. Hey. They're such fools. Are you going to give me something? Really? Okay, he just left me hanging there. Fuck you, dude. Jackass. I, I try to help, and this guy just leaves me hanging. Wait, what? Oh, you changed your mind. <laughs> Take this for the troops. And we got... Sp oh, spice jerky. I'm sorry. This is for you, here. Strength capsule, that's, that's very nice of you. You see that full brother of mine. Tell me you'd better come back alive. Yeah, go back in the kitchen. Jerk. I swear. You know, he gives me attitude... Gives me spe uh, spice jerky and a strength capsule. This guy has to make up his mind, you know? But anyways, back to Xenon Bridge we go. But I think I will cut the episode short. And uh, yeah, that will be it for today. In the next episode, we will give the rations back to the troops on Xenon Bridge. And attempt to cross it. Which will be a lot of fun, I'm sure. Thank you for watching, everybody. And sayonara. Wait. Let me uh let me turn the video off this way. <laughs>